Hey Gang, Comic Holics trademark, are having a contest, a 300 subscriber contest, and they just want to know a few things about us. I'm going to limit it to what I collect just because, you know, I try to collect toys and no, I have not purchased any of these recently. These are all my childhood toys. I will occasionally come across a toy, but the indignity is when I find a toy, I almost always already have it. It's like you don't have another Thundercat to offer. You don't have another Ghostbusters character to offer. But I like to buy them cheap. But I will not take topless He-Men. Stinkor just isn't Stinkor without that snap-on orange armor. I don't need the weapons. I just don't need them to be topless. I also try to collect music, but it's the same kind of thing. you got to sort of take what you can get. But the, the CDs, I'll usually go no more than a dollar. So I got the Angus soundtrack for a dollar but I got rubber soul for 75 cents there's a place that sells them for 75 cents and sometimes there's great stuff there's another place that sells them for 25 cents but there's never anything good there 45s I don't really care for LPs but 45s I will pay a dollar for that sea cruise by Frankie Ford and I also try to get music video VHS not like concert videos but actual like music videos the, the native format is 640 by 480 tape. And when, like, these 90s videos, there's so much going on, they're so kinetic, that when you upload them to YouTube, and the actual companies upload them to YouTube with not a high enough data rate. So all you see is pixelization with all these stupid graphics going on in the background. So you gotta get the pure VHS. So thank you to Comicholics. Thank you for listening to my collecting ways. Congratulations on the 300. And you might be saying, why the Angus CD? Well, it's got a Weezer track on it, and I'm a fan of Weezer. Kyle Rowe will appreciate the fact that I paid a dollar for the Angus CD.